Hey, people, injured here for every three faction war. This is Typhon Arena and Eldar versus Chaos Space Marines for the blue Eldar team. We have triple warlocks going on. First up is Aetherion. Looks like the Harley Quinn's elite scheme alongside Red Horse and also Kempi145. These guys are melee spellcasters that can leap into combat. Powerful disruption support and offense too. Red Chaos team. Belial is a Chaos Sorcerer, offensive and disruptive hero, powerful battlefield manipulation and some strong offense to the Thousand Suns elite scheme. Alongside Meryl, Keeper of Hentai, with a Plague Champion, starts off in ranged combat with a damage of a time bolter, can get melee weapons, some decent utility and support, can build turrets and repair, but is very slow. And rather off the teams, VR as a Chaos Lord. Durable and destructive hero walks through objects and cannot be suppressed. Powerful offense and disruption fights mainly in melee combat. Looks like the Iron Warriors. Yes, elite scheme. Chaos Lord in the bottom then, the southwest where this contested VP is. Locking horns with that warlock early on. Gets a decent kill the week. These Dar Avengers here a bit stationary for my liking. Kills one of them with a sink kill. Should be a bit more movement there. Warlock is also not engaging. Doom Blast on these fellas. Heretics getting in, chopping them up. Yeah, a strange opening from Kempi. There's some corn worship. Boosting the speed of VR's units. CSM moving in. They could have got into melee, I think. Northeast. Heretics dying in droves. They do get away. Lots of pew pew on the Chaos Sorcerer, and he flees. Warlock is off the field. So the CSM, I mean, they need to be careful. Yeah, I think it's time to retreat, fellas. It's not worth trying to get a Dire Avenger kill, risking a CSM loss. Look at the damage they're taking. How are they not dropping a model here? Down to one, two, four hit points on three models. Zinch looked after them, I guess. Meriel also retreated some heretics, but they live. And his first squad with an aspiring champion there. Turns them into a much more dangerous melee unit in tier 1. Giving them some more hit points and makes their Doom Blast do more damage. Not sure why this plague champion is turning around here. Some Havocs up for VR. Double CSM for Belial. Those guys got to do some healing. Get between the bases. Unless, I think maybe they, they changed that and it doesn't stack anymore. Triple Dar Avengers for Kempi. Warlock trying to tie things up, but he's going to run into Havocs and take a lot of damage. Heretics trying to get in. I don't think VR needed to commit there. Ally is coming in. There's Havocs in play. Could have kept those Heretics back and kind of edged forward a little bit. That's a decent grenade. CSM getting away with one model there. But the Dire Avengers, as predicted, are quite easily dealt with when other stuff joined. Power Bash, maybe. Yep. Yeah. An attempt. We've got the Merciless Witchblade for Aetherion. Don't see any other. We have the Sword of Flame for Belial. That's all your war gear for now. 454 to 458. 2 to 1 cap for the Chaos team. Noise Marines for Meryl. And some more Heretics for VR. Chaos are going for the Power Bash. Do we see the Biola Spear or anything? Nope. Noise Marines, I don't think we'll be able to join this fight. Rangers for the Eldar now. Double for Red Horse. And Aetherion has one too. Snap Infantry with some good support abilities. Using their Pathfinder gear. Can hide allies and disrupt from long range. And those Heretics died. Those guys had an Inspiring Champion too. Meryl now getting some Raptors. Who needs Noise Marines when he just jump on them? CSM with Eternal War. Joining the fight now. These CSM getting a bit too far forward. And those sniper shots coming in. Doom Blast on this guy. Need to run away though. Coruscant Flame on the Heretics. I think Belial wanted to keep them in play as long as possible. Because of the Coruscant Flame doing some damage. Doom Bolts. First Doom Bolts I've seen. Not the most effective. Keeping the pressure on though the Chaos. Can they get onto the Gens though? in a major way. Meanwhile, Eldar creeping their way back into the Southwest VP and might be able to get a power bash of their own. There's a lot of pew pew here from these Dire Avengers. 
Going for the wreck point, that's smart. They're going for the node itself, which is a lot tougher than the generators. Looks like they're going to get it down. Raptors are in play from Meryl, so maybe they can stop it. They jump the rangers, but that's in the path of the shuriken cannon. Is that the immolator blade? It is. Touch of Nurgle there on the heretics. Boom. Global ability of the plague champion causes the unit to explode on death. Dealing damage and damage and healing allies and also knocking stuff down, which is a big part of your touch of Nurgle. You can use it to escape because everything's knocked over. Got quite a lot of value out of that. But now they are retreating. It is limited. I think it can only detonate. Touch of Nurgle can only go off once every three or four seconds or something. So you can, if you've got a lot of upfront damage, you can focus down a heretic squad after a, a Touch of Nurgle explosion and they don't get another one. Wow. Pretty effective destructor. Those guys die. Not sure what they were trying to do. Red Horse, we've just doubled our Avengers up. Lost both of those Rangers there. 409 to 416. That's a pretty good kinetic pulse knocking, knocking down his entire army of Belial. Heretics are dying in droves in this game. As they should. A very fancy special from the Warlock. Might kill. Wow. That was a pretty bad engagement for Belial. Lost heretics and CSM. Had triple CSM going there. We do see some noise marines from Meryl. Wraith Guard for Red Horse. I mean, Raptors could get on them. Chaos Lord could get on them. We'll see how they are protected. No Banshees around, of course, to uh, counter-initiate the Raptors. We do have Warlocks, although Aetherion is the only one with the Merciless Witchblade, and he's top. You can really mess up a Sorcerer's play if you can deny them energy. Are you guys going to defend the power? There we go. One-to-one -one cap here. Pretty much even on VPs. It's a Wraith Lord and a Falcon. Blue team getting their tier 2 units out in good time here. Despite some pressure on their power. We didn't see... I don't think we saw any full bashes. Node goes down here. Noise Marines are on it. They can shake apart these structures with their Sonic Blaster very effectively. It's an awesome weapon. Also shuts down ranged attacks. There's a fair amount of damage too. Although you do need to wait a few seconds these days for the shutdown of ranged attacks to start working. Used to be instantaneous. Raptors getting in there, and Chaos retain the southwest. Marquezine CSM. Just makes them better at shooting infantry, especially heavy infantry, which Eldar don't have a huge amount of. I mean, they have some of it. Wraith Guard. Also, uh, Dark Creepers, I believe, are heavy infantry. Maybe even Fire Dragons. That could be wrong though. Falcon being used to facilitate a power bash. And they might get it all here. Nothing really on the field for Chaos that can touch the Falcon at the moment. Oh, here we go. Plague Marines hit the field as soon as I say that. Those guys have a missile launcher that will snare vehicles. 2-1 to one cap for the Chaos. Still very even on VPs. It's a good power bash. The node and two gens at least. Might be able to get it all. Here come the Plague Marines, though. They're going to get at least one missile off. There it is. I'm not sure if they'll be able to chase, though. At least, in fact, they're not even moving. 383 to 382 on the VPs. Wraith Guard being tied up, which is not what they like. Pretty much throw anything at them in melee, and they will be lost. Actually taken down there by those raptors. A little bit sloppy from Red Horse, yep, and he knows it. Could have got those guys out of there way, way sooner. Raptors could eat a retreat grenade here. Sure, can get out of it. Might be wiped out by these raptors. Yep, well played. Meryl. 354 to 382. 
Dire Avengers go down. Wraith Lord now getting some big swings in. Raptors get away without a loss, I think. Unless the Wraith Lord can get another swing. No. And here's the Warlock just jumping on the Havocs who have a auto cannon. Yes. Dropping models. Not paying attention is VR. Must be looking. Yep. These guys chased all the way through to the power. And they're bashing it. And they're going to get the Falcon. Why did it come back into that combat? Aetherion loses it. 335 to 382. Not looking good for the Eldar. Some sloppy losses. And uh, it's putting pressure on them. Inviting pressure on themselves. Warlock. Level 3 for Kempi with Cloak of Shadows, Warp Throw, and Immolator. A strange mix of war gear there. I guess it works. Can set stuff on fire and chuck it around. Why not? Gonna get a full power bash here, I think. Double Marco Zint CSM. And they do get the full bash. Didn't get a decap. Warlock. They didn't knock over the uh, Plague Marines there for some reason. There's a warp throw. That must have really hurt. Just smack their head onto the rock rubble there. Power armor's useful. Look at this. Kempi getting these Wraith Guard into all sorts of trouble. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. 316 to 376. Eldar all over the place here. Is that double Plague Marines? It is. This Wraith Lord is still around. Three Plague Marines on the field. These guys do have their power fist. Which uh, got a little nerf in 2.9. 2.9 out now, by the way. Go and grab it. Double cap here for the Eldar. Somehow, their power is bashed. Their armies are depleted. They are reeling. But they've got webways up. And this is a fantastic map for webway usage. Look at that. A triple. They have a triple cap here. Plague Marines will get this one back, I guess. Maybe. There we go. Run past it and then turn around. Chaos Dreadnought on the way for Meriel. A Blood Crusher for Bala. It's a pretty late one. But uh, it's coming into a decent a decent arena. Only the Wraith Lord and the Wraith Guard can really threaten it. And they're kind of bottom. Cloak of Shadows also for Aetherion. Now they have a single cap. Gonna get a 2-1, to one, I think. Power Bash on the northeast power. So Eldar did have this for a while. I mean, it wasn't a completely hopeless power situation. They did have some. Wraith Lord trying to tie up the Plague Marines. Can't tie them both up, though. This Warlock is not helping, Kempi. Maybe a newer player over there. Wraith Guard doing their thing. Suppressing on kill. On shot, I should say. That Plague Marine actually healed these guys up to full when he died. Okay, the Warlock's woken up. Kempi is back in. 315 to 285. Setting some Plague Marines on fire, sure. Eldar, you need to get some units on the field, fellas. Red Horse waiting for an avatar, maybe. Play champion, lost the indicator for him. Level 4, no war gear. Some late game heretics for Belial to support things. With that fancy worship and this blood crusher especially. Avatar on the way for Red Horse. It's just going to get shot to bits though, isn't it? By all these Marcos each, fellas. There's three of them. And the Plague Marines, of course. Mark of Corn Dreadnought on the way. Let the galaxy burn from the Chaos Lord. Not, not super scary, to be honest, there. I guess the disruption is the main thing. Eldar getting a natural back. And somehow they have the Southwest. What is the Chaos team doing? Here we go. Meryl is coming back down. It's up to Belial to hold the top now. Does have a Blood Crusher. There's not a whole lot Aetherium can do about it. Getting some Seer Council, which is not really going to help 
against the Blood Crusher. I suppose that much power melee might be able to get through 600 hit points of vehicle armor with a little help. Southwest is kicking off. 274 to 285. Chaos are going to easily get it back. And another Wraith Guard squad getting hammered. They're just going to die, I think. 75 hit points, they might get away. 60, looks like they're okay. Did not use the second jump on the Raptors there. Level 4, these fellas. Chaos looking strong at the bottom. Tier 3 now for VR. There's the Avatar, just hanging out. Fire Dragon's on the way for Aetherion. To shoot down this Blood Crusher, I guess. Heretic's getting in there. And Chaos are going to take Blue Team's Natural again for a triple. Or maybe not. Aetherion being sneaky. Warp Spider's on the field now for Kempi. Power Bashing. They're going to get it all, I think. Infiltrated Avatar. How the hell do you hide this thing? We'll see how this goes. There's only one Marquezine CSM down here, and they are capping and now idle. Wrath of Cain there. Mark of Corn Dreadnought goes all blood raged. 241 to 284. Raptors getting into the back lines a little bit late, but they're on the warp spiders and they tore them apart. Lots of, lots of sloppy losses from the Eldar in this game. Just not recognizing threats quickly enough. Chaos Claws level 3. They busted up the Avatar pretty good, but it does live. It does live. Double cap here for Chaos. Eldar are keeping themselves in it with the mobility to get to these natural VPs. Demonic Roar scaring off the Fire Dragons momentarily. Now they're being tied up though, and the Blood Crusher does good damage when he gets in there. See a council. Terrifying for CSM. And for a sorcerer, I guess. He's got the Icon of Zinch. Investments of the Warp and the Rod of Warp Fire. Lots of Warp stuff going on. Dreadnought. Look at that. It got like half an XP bar. Even more than that. Take Champion. Plague Fist. Armor Pestilence. And Mucus Discharge. He is built to take VPs. Tier 3 now for Kempi. He has tons of red. So does Meryl. I think he's killed like half the map with these raptors. Another webway going up. They were spotted then. I guess by Belial. Do you have an aspiring champion? You do. Been trying to steal back this power. Aetherion's Seer Council will be a big, big help. They can jump in, disrupt, maybe both the CSM if they're close together, and then chop them up pretty good. Here they come. Onto the Sorcerer. Can they get him off the field quickly? They are taking a lot of damage from the CSM. There's Distortion Field from the Warlock. Now they choose to switch targets. And yeah. Chopping through those CSM. Almost got the Sorcerer there. Taking on this entire army by themselves. 183 to 249. This might be a dead CSM squad so if they're not careful. Looks like they will escape somehow with three models. Two models. One model. Okay, Seer Council did some awesome work there. Only dropped a single model themselves, supported by that distortion field. Aetherium just couldn't get up here in time to support them with actual units. But it's going to keep the pressure on this VP. 183 to 232. Destructor. Pretty damn effective on these heretics. Now starts to chop through them. Fire Dragons on the Blood Crusher. Do they have the time to uh, finish it off? There's the Crack Shot. No, it's not Crack Shot. That's the uh, Fire Dragons ability they always figure the name of. Increases their speed, I think. And their fire on the move accuracy. Now it's worn off, but they do get the Blood Crusher. 
big victory by Ethereon. Eldar actually doing really well at the top. Can't uh, sort themselves out at the bottom. But as long as they have those webway gates, as long as Ethereon has the Seer Council, how did they not level up? They killed so much stuff. Is that the Witchblade of Kurnus? It is. You can tell by the grenade decorator on top of the wall up there. Avatar gets in. Raptors again. Pretty late with the jump. I think they were trying to fight the warlock instead. They do get on the Wraith Guard and Touch of Nurgle is up down on them. Wraith Guard this time get away. Avatar taking a hell of a lot of fire. And here's some heavy melee as well to take from the Dreadnought. Pushing through with Chaos. They are not letting Eldar get close to this VP down here. Some more Seer Council this time from Kempi. And here's Aetherion Seer Council too. They are level 2 now. Blood Letters on the way for Belial. Predator Tank from VR. Chaos seems to have really slowed down in Tier 3. Haven't really got anything on the field. Losing so much stuff, I guess. Having to reinforce. That slaughter going on from the CSM there. Level 4. Yeah, look at Meryl's stuff. is so leveled up. You can tell that he's killed tons of Eldar. Full power bash here, I expect. Maybe it's time for Eldar just to uh, concentrate on the top. Try and get Meryl to come up here and then he can maybe hit bottom. Rangers trying to get after the VP, but they are spotted by those aspiring champion heretics. 153 to 211. Fire prisms now on the way. That's going to be pretty useful. You can stay away from the uh, Plague Marines, that is. Still three of them on the field. These guys in a bad melee fight. going to go after the power. No, he's going top for that VP. And should be able to deal with this. We saw what the Seer Council can do. Blood Letters now in there. Good Destructor to set this up. Doom Blast is not enough. Level 6 Warlock doing some work. There's the Heart of Darkness for Enhance. Awesome. Are we going to see it? Does it need to channel it? I don't think he does. Oh, there's Enhance, boosting their speed and damage, which is pretty good for an Eldar unit, for any unit. 119 to 211. So Council, of course, with that passive 15% range damage reduction, actually acts as an aura that also affects them. Yeah, they did really well again, really well. Uh-oh. Fire Prisms got caught by the slowest moving unit on the map. It survives for now, but now a Predator's chasing it. Don't think it's going to escape. It's still snared by the missile launcher. And down it goes. Unlucky Aetherion. I think he was concentrating on his Seer Council fight. There's a Nurgle Shrine. We have a dead Avatar now. Blade Chapin is level 6. There's an Abyss from Meriel. Looks like it will, they escaped it pretty well. So Council here trying to smack up this shrine. And they're going to deal with it. And Eldar are going to retake this contested VP. 85 VPs they have left. Here's a fire prison from Red Horse. Fighting a Mark of Pawn Predator tank. Is that an Eldritch? It is. On the Heretics. I don't know if that was the best usage of it. Maybe he was expecting the Predator to back up more there. Must have been, right? 85 to 197. Double cap for the Eldar. Somehow, they are still in this game. Oh no, Aetherion lost his Warlock up here. Level 7. That's going to set them back at the top quite a lot. In fact, only has 3 units now. And one of them is down here. Going after this tank. Look at those Fire Dragons go. Can they finish it off? They can. Well done, fellas. Noxious Cloud from Merrill. Mostly just shrugged off, though. 
Wraith Guard, did you level up? You did, well done. We've got a D cannon from Aetherion, another Fire Prism here from Kempi. They've already lost two, but they get another one. Melter Raptors. Bad news for the Fire Prism. Markov Corn CSM fighting Seer Council. I assume Seer Council win that fight quite handily, but there's a lot of stuff here to help out. Touch of Nurgle. Markov Corn CSM now. Uh oh, Seer Council might wipe out. Distortion Field won't help them against Melee. They do live. A suppression helping them out there. Wraithguard doing some work. I think he should have backed off after that first volley. They tried to get another volley in there. And maybe it worked out for him. Fire Prism helps. Here's another Predator tank from VR. Fire Prism getting way too close to it. And here come Raptors with Melter Guns. And a Melter Bomb. And there it is. And that's a dead Fire Prism. Did not last long. They only have 500 hit points, those guys. They can drop very, very fast. Red Horse with yet another Fire Prism. 70 to 153. What a crazy game so far. Webway is spawned. Bloodletters going off it immediately. As the Webway is building, you can see it. It's only when it's fully built that it infiltrates. And Bloodletters dealt with it pretty damn quickly there. Here's a D cannon doing its thing. You missed. You missed D cannon. Setup teams on an elevation can overshoot their targets. Sorcerer is in there. Not sure if. Oh boy. Eldritch took out a tank, I think. Well, I don't see a tank here. And another Abyss from VR this time. 42 to 153. As I was saying, I don't think the uh, D cannon is suited. To the top, really. I guess it could do some work. Especially if you're trying to lock down this VP. But, uh... Bottom is where you usually see that stuff. Level are you, fellas? Level 4, of course you are. Plague Marines, level 4 and level 3. A Fire Prism lives from Red Horse. And another one on the way. Determined to make these Fire Prisms work. 26 to 153. Surely this is the Chaos Team's game. There's a Melter. Wraith Guard getting those volleys in. They do friendly fire, so the Seer Council need to be careful here. Raptors going after the Fire Prism, and they finish it off. Nicely done by Meryl. These Raptors have killed everything. There's Pestilence Strike to stun the Seer Council. Now they're taking friendly fire. Good thing that Pestilence Strike was up. Oh, look at this, though. Level 5 Warlock getting a decap down here. Are they going to get a triple? Well done, Aetherion. Is that a warp throw? No, it's a singularity. 21 to 134. Double cap for Eldar. We hold, says Red Horse. Couldn't quite get this cap. Chaos Lord with Lightning Claws had something to say about it. Avatar of Cain on the way for Aetherion. Landred of Phobos on the way for Meryl. Yet his Wraith Guard are doing some work now. Now that the uh, Kempe's looking after him a bit better and they have a bit of protection over there with some leveled up Warlocks and stuff. Red Team are retaking a natural Aetherion. Couldn't quite hold it forever. Lot of damage on this Seer Council. Level 4, these guys have been fantastic. He's Harlequin Seer Council. I'm not sure if that's actually a thing. If Harley Quinn's bother with that kind of stuff. Bloodlet is appearing. Pretty effective ethereal slash there. And another abyss from VR. Oh boy. Hit those Wraith Guard. Yeah, they wipe out. Just as I said, the Wraith Guard are doing well. Look at the damage that Melter Bomb did on rear armor. That was crazy. 21 to 58. Aetherion using these webways well. Level 4 Seer Council will be up there soon. Avatar can't get in the webway, unfortunately. For the, for the Avatar. Fire Prism needs some repairs. Raptors capping. The Raptors need to do everything themselves. 
That was a singularity, but it's not going to go off now. Oh, land rid of Phobos. I forgot about you. Five Dragons going after it immediately. And there's Enhance. Pretty good buff for Five Dragons. Surprised we don't see Enhance more, actually. Heretics are going to wipe, maybe? Nope. Level 8 Warlock there. Here's an Avatar. Decided to go bottom. Taking a lot of damage from the Phobos. When it shoots it, that is. 21 to 49. Eldar are still in this game. Here comes another Fire Prism from Red Horse. How many is that now? A late game Chaos Dreadnought from Belial. Chaos just seemed to slow down so much in Tier 3. They spent a hell of a lot of resources upgrading their units. Didn't see any Terminators. I mean, we saw a few Predators from VR. That's a pretty good Eldritch. Can they follow it up? Avatar surely can. One hit does it. There we go. Still a one-to-one -one cap. We have Plague Marines going for the natural of the Eldar. Another Fire Prism does hit the field. Where are your Seer Council and stuff? Oh, they're all down here. Fully committed to this contested VP. They're going to lose their natural though. Or maybe not. Here comes a Warlock. Some Dire Avengers there as well. 18 to 49. Eldar running out of VPs. Good disruption though from the Warlock. Tough bastards, Plague Marines. There we go. There's one. And of course that explosion doesn't heal themselves anymore. So stops the cap. I mean, they did get the decap. Eldar have the bottom now. Now it's Chaos that are looking in disarray. Oh no, mera has gone down. Who's looking after the hentai, you fellas? Guys. Eldar have stolen it. Dark Creeper's on the way. Aetherion putting pressure back on the uh, contested VP. The natural VP, I should say. That's a pretty good Eldritch. Holy crap. Aetherion MVP so far for the Eldar team. For sure, there's a the Dark Flames. Mostly dodged ish. Maybe. Dreadnought's angry. Dreadnought's not going after the units that can actually hurt it, though. And Warlock is getting a cap here. Are they going to get a triple? Are Eldar going to win this? 16 to 19. Chaos are very much in disarray here. Fire Prism is alive, which is a miracle in itself. And as soon as I say that, it dies. Yep, I think Eldar win this game. Wow. Amazing indeed, says Aetherion. Level 9 Warlock. This won the game for them. These webways and Aetherion's play at the top. Bolao just couldn't deal with this Seer Council. Could have got, you know, Chains of Torment. From the Robes of Torment. And tried to set up some kills with that. Or just force some retreats or something. Level 9 Warlock also from Red Horse. With the Witchbed of Kurnus. I think he had like six fire prisms or something he got through. Level 10 Warlock from Kempi. Wow. Lost a lot of Wraith Guard, but that Warlock still killed a bunch of stuff. Level 4 Sorcerer from Belial. Did have the Tome of Subjugation at the end. I guess that's a way to deal with Seer Council. Didn't work out, though. Level 8 Blade Champion. Played well, Meryl, but couldn't quite hold it together at the end. And a level 7 Chaos Lord. Well, they have it, guys. Not the highest level play you've ever seen. But a big thanks to these guys for putting on a faction war for us. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.